What's up, now, folks? Back with another reaction, back with some more garbage. And we're going back to the 1998 2.0 album, though this is once again the 2015 remaster. Shout out to Philip. And the next tune is Push It. It makes me think of the Salt and Pepper tune. I doubt there's any direct relationship. And indeed, although it could be conceptually in the same, let's say, ballpark, even if that were the case, I would expect the expression of it or the attitude behind it to be different slash more complicated. Also, push it can mean pushing something, you know, pushing the envelope, pushing something to the edge, taking a risk and going beyond where some people might consider the appropriate limit for whatever that behavior or process is. Um, perhaps, you know, benefiting from that gamble or perhaps going off the edge because there really was a reason why the limit was there. So I wonder if any of those concepts could relate to it. I'll try to catch what I can. Let's hear it. This is Garbage. The tune is Push It, and it's from their 1998 2.0 album.
It's amazing. It's an awesome tune. And if it has been used in that way, I completely understand why. It's like it just has a a, a fierce attitude to it, uh, which again, yeah, it feels very different from the Salt and Pepper tune of the same name. But um, yeah, I'm not quite sure, like lyrically, uh, what is afoot in this one. And in part because there are sections where I'm hearing sort of breathy whispers and. There were a couple lines that I did catch, at least in part, that sounded like, in terms of the words, enticing, but the way they were delivered felt a bit dangerous. So, yeah, it's as far as I can tell, it sounds like a complicated relationship where she's saying, we can get through it, we can win, but like, I'm not in the mood to fight, and you know, like, it feels like there's a, there's boundaries being set, maybe, that like, look, you know, we're part of this, I want to get through this. Um, but maybe there's a like, you know, don't go past this, don't push it, because now is not the right time. So that's my best guess on a first listen. Uh, but I have to look it up. I feel like, again, I feel like there was an NHL hockey game, which was made, you know, those are made by the same company that for a long time made the FIFA games, which is EA Sports. Um, but I have to find this out. Okay. Yeah, Garbage Song, which came 11 years after the Salt and Pepper Song. I, I would have thought the Salt and Pepper Song was from the 80s, or sorry, the 90s, not the 80s. Okay, so does it show anywhere where it might have been used? Um, okay, blah, blah, blah. I'm talking about the release. Mm, oh, oh my god, NHL 2000. I, okay, see this, you know? My memory for stuff that happened yesterday is total shit. And my memory for stuff that happened over 20 years ago is brilliant. It is an NHL 2000, which I absolutely had. And of all the NHL games, after the original generation, which was like in the early 90s, but from all the ones that are on like the disc consoles, I played that one the most. Obviously, that's when I was remembering it. But we're talking about a game that's almost 25 years old. That's why it was sort of like, oh, I kind of maybe did I, hmm. Either way, I feel vindicated and I feel like it was a sort of a, a lucky dip guess in a way that was on the mark. Uh, yeah, so shout out to Garbage, shout out to EA, I guess. I, it's a company I have mixed feelings about, to say the very least, and in part because of those FIFA games that were aforementioned. But um, it's a cool tune to use and like it's got a, you know, it's got a real like, energy and sort of uh, power to it, which, you know, in a game that's about a sport that's very kinetic and physical and you know, powerful, I feel like that's not a bad bit of thought that went into the soundtrack. Either way, cool tune in the context of their album, uh, and ultimately one that I think shows the, the edgier side, the, the harder side of the Sonics I've heard from them, which I like the ones where it's a bit light and there's a bright charm to it, even though the like psychology might be a bit more nuanced and complicated, but um, I do like when they go heavier, uh, and again, in this case, like especially in the chorus. So cool tune. Once again, shout out to Mikey, shout out to Philip, shout out to all the folks who have been uh, following the garbage reactions. I think Mark has shown up in some cases, and Izzy and others, so big ups to all of you. Let me know what you think of this, and I'll see you next time. Peace.